short. Oh. <sighs> Welcome to another video, which is a second update to my least popular video on my channel. I think it's only got about 50 views, but I liked making it, so here I am making another one. I've got another Instagram Q&A, which I, uh, I'll answer a few questions, which, which I did a few months back. Last year, I recorded this video in November, and I was wearing a beanie, a hoodie, a coat. I looked cold. This year, I'm filming it in September, and it is like 27 degrees outside. That is insane. So I'm just gonna give you a little rundown, update about my channel, my life, for anyone who's actually remotely interested in that kind of stuff. I've started a buy me a coffee thing where um, viewers, viewers can donate to me if you want to. It's really cheeky, I know, but uh, I'm a single guy living by himself, so I thought I would just, just put it on there. If anyone wants to, to ever donate a pound to me, it's all gonna go towards the channel, towards better equipment or a website or something. It's there for you if you want. And talking about the buy me a coffee, I have had my first donation. I've had a very kind donation already from Front Photography. You know, I said anybody who donates to me is gonna get a roasting. Um, I'm gonna say something not nice and grumpy about them, so front, hurry up and finish your website, please. I know you're working hard on it, but come on. Um, and also, while I've got your, your attention, let's get back to some podcasts and some content. I know you guys are busy, but I need some Jamie and Luke love in my life, or Luke and Jamie, whichever way around it is. I don't mind, I'll take either of you first or last, it doesn't matter. I just need some more of your content. I think I've just kind of complimented you, yet yeah, I'm trying to roast you at the same time. Go check out Front. I've left a link to all of their stuff in the description. If you don't know what Front is, they are building a website for us to sell our photographs on. Um, they also have an amazing YouTube channel uh, with podcast episodes and great interviews with a lot of people I've never heard of because I'm brand new to the game, but they've taught me so much about UK photography and you've got people like Bray on there um, who is over in America making amazing videos. So go check them out and support them any way you possibly can. Okay, I'm trying to develop my content a little bit. I'm trying to branch out. I've always wanted to, to host a podcast and I'm still looking for someone out there. So if anyone who's interested in doing some podcast stuff, I, uh, I edit podcasts for my real time job and I love it. I will do all the hard work. I'm just not very good at being a main host because I'm quite monotone and boring. So I'd love to start doing that. I'd love to start going on these um, photo walks and seeing people more. Unfortunately, I just hate people and humans. I have imposter syndrome. So I'm working on that. Maybe next year I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll start getting my face out a bit more. My content on the channel is slightly changing. I'm not really focusing much on reviews. The next couple of videos will be film rolls, but I'm just not enjoying them as much. I'm more transitioning into the travel aspect. Travel and photography, I believe, go hand in hand. And I'm just gonna sort of work towards my creative side on video as well, because I love I have a passion with editing videos. I feel like there's gonna be less focus on film roles, more this is what I'm shooting and this is what you get, more of like a travel experience to come with me. Let me know what you think, whether you think I should continue doing reviews. I don't feel like I'm technically equipped with knowledge for that kind of stuff. I'm just here looking like a fat sloth talking about film. I've also added my email address into the description of my videos for, for any business inquiries, collaborations, or interviews or something. I, I want, like I said before, I want to start trying to get out there and I'm open. Plus, that email address is really lonely. I don't get anything on it. Send me what your favorite color is. Just, you know, tell me how sh my photography is. It would be really appreciated. You know, I, uh, I love this film community so much and I feel like there's not enough old, grumpy, white men in this community just giving their opinions. 
So before I get back home and read out this Instagram q and I thought I'd do a little section on this video where I do some recommendations, what I'm watching lately, and all links will be down in the description. Number one is Sunny 16. Sunny 16 have been the kind of main inspiration for me starting a YouTube channel and being creative. They are just a bunch of cool dudes. They also really make me want to have friends. Like, insanely bad. Creative style and videos and just their podcast. Man, I love their podcast. So, highly recommend to, to go and check those guys out. I have to give a shout out to Eclectochrome. I'm hoping I pronounced that correctly. Eclectochrome. Sound like I'm coughing up phlegm. Eclectoph... E Eclectochrome. Molly K over there is my go-to for anything film. She's been excellent to me over the past year or so, just giving me advice or comments or support or anything. So big shout out. Go give her a sub because she's thriving for the UK film community right now. Despite not eating any custard creams or bourbon biscuits, she's a uh, She's all right, she's a good egg. There probably wouldn't be a video if I'm not mentioning Exploring Analog, who is a friend I made via YouTube. She lives in Paris. Um, Clara is an incredible street photographer. Inspired me, pushed me out of my boundaries uh, to do all sorts of stuff. So go check her channel out and follow her as well because she's very talented. Oh, and obviously front photography as well as they unofficially fund this episode. Like I said before, all links are down in the in the description. Bye. I'm going to do the Instagram question and answer now because I don't know if you remember last time I only had one um, question, which was this. Whereas this time I've had quite a few questions, however, two of them are still this. And I'm not going to say who they are because they know who they are. You can catch my OnlyFans if you want to see that. So I'm going to start off with the first question, which is from Exploring Analog, so thank you. And it is dream travel destination for photography. Um, this is a constant thought process that goes through my head in places that I want to go, places I want to see, and it's an endless list. Um, but at this moment in time, it probably has to be I'm just gonna say Mexico, I need to say destination, so I'm gonna say Mexico. It's just beautiful. There's a, a sense of like, real culture and ruggedness about it. And I've been to Mexico before and it was beautiful, but I, I wasn't that into photography. I'd only just started my journey. So I'd love to go again with the knowledge that I have now and obviously make a video. The next question is from Eclectochrome. So, I need to know, pineapple on pizza, yay or nay? Now, my answer is nay. No, I don't put pineapple on pizza. However, if I was starving and someone put pizza on there with pineapple on it, that's no problem, no, I'll eat that mother I've got one off Anthony Bentley 115. What size foot are you? I don't see why it matters, but um, which don't get any ideas, but it is 7.5 UK size. So yeah, I've got baby feet. <laughs> I've one from Bouchettes, which is long time no speak, who asked, when am I coming back to Canada? And trust me, I would go back to Canada the first opportunity I get. I lived there for a few years and I loved it. And I've been dreaming of getting back there ever since. But unfortunately, visas and my old ass it's, uh, it's not as easy as it, as it may seem as when I was younger. And I have one off uh, Ryan.Goblin who says, how many Maltesers do you reckon you could hold in one hand? Well, my friend, I'm here to find out. 
thing is, it's a really hot day today as well, so this is gonna melt super quick. I'm just gonna stick it in there and see what goes on. Oh God. Lost some. I would say, holy sugar lumps. I would say I could hold about this many Maltesers in one hand. <laughs> I think that's about, um, is that just It's like I've got poo on my hand. Wait, one, two. That is 26 Maltesers. Thanks for watching. And I know this video doesn't get many views. I don't care, I like doing these. Why am I licking my hand? <laughs>